Today we're looking at the filters functionality on Flight Radar 24. And though this may look relatively simple, it can be a really powerful and efficient way to see only what you want to see on the map. So if you click down here on filters, as you'll see you have various options for filtering out flights from the map. You'll see it starts off with call sign at the top, and then down below you have options for airport, altitude, speed, aircraft type, aircraft registration, and radar. Some of the improvements made with the latest redesign include being able to input multiple filters by separating with a comma. On top of that, filters will be automatically saved and can be selected or deselected once you've put them in. So it should be easier to use all around and I'll show you all about how to do those things. And keep in mind you have a link here to a blog post that goes into more depth about all of these. And it'll be especially helpful if you need to find a particular code, for example, uh, airline call signs or aircraft types. So here we'll work our way down from the top and we'll look at examples for each because some might be more straightforward than others. So if you put in an airline call sign, uh, you're going to then see flights in the air for that airline or airlines if you put in multiple. Uh, note that you need the three letter ICAO call sign rather than the two letter code that you might be used to using. So uh, UA, United Airlines becomes UAL in that case. And if we add filter, you'll see down here it's saved and then you get all the United flights that are in the air at the moment and nothing else. And as mentioned, you can put in multiple by either separating with a comma or doing this multiple times. So I could say uh, add DLH, that's Lufthansa, and then we have two. Or you can separate it with a comma, so uh, if you were doing that, the simplest way would be to type it in like this, and then you get the same effect. Now you're seeing all United and Lufthansa flights that are in the air at the moment. And you'll see that if I click away, say, and go here and select a flight, uh, you can tell down below here that the filters are still active. Uh, and that, that shows you that there are currently three filters in place. And to remove, you just hit the X. Pretty straightforward. So the next one down, we have airports. And these use the three-letter IATA codes that most people are used to. Uh, so ARN. Arlanda, and the other aspect of this is that you can select in out or specify one or the other, meaning inbound or outbound traffic only to or from that airport. And you notice these filters you input will all stack onto each other, so you can really fine tune things as you go along. So if you wanted to see uh, all traffic in and out of JFK, that's one layer. You could then say you only want to see American Airlines flights in and out of JFK. And then you have this view. So if we click out of there. Altitude is the next one on the list, and that's pretty self-explanatory. You simply select an altitude band uh, using the slider. So it can be anything from zero to 65,000 feet. Maybe you want to filter out most commercial aircraft. Put this above, say, around 45,000, up to 65,000. Add new filter, and it can be kind of fun to see what you get. And the same thing with speed. Anything from zero to 800 knots, just drag the slider, and you can look at that range. So aircraft type is a fun one, and in this version you're able to enter multiple ICAO aircraft codes in a single filter. And these can be partial or complete. So for example, if you want to see all Boeing 777s, you could use the partial code B77. And you'll see there are many in the sky. Instead, if you wanted to just see the 777-300ER, and let's say the 777-200LR, you could enter B77L, comma, B77W. You, you can combine any partial and complete codes as long as they're separated by commas. Again, you can head to that blog post that's linked here for info on how to look up an ICAO aircraft code. Now the aircraft registration filter also supports multiple entries in a single filter. 
So you can just enter a full registration or the beginning of a registration and separate multiple entries with commas. So that'll give you all British registered aircraft if you just do G dash, or maybe you want to see if any with a registration of N77 are in the sky, a surprising number. And we'll see here, N774SA, N775AN, and finally you have radar. With this, you can filter by the radar code assigned to each receiver on the Flight Radar 24 network to see which flights that particular receiver is tracking at the moment. You just need to enter the complete radar code and then you have it. And that's about it. We hope you're finding this useful, and as always, give us a shout if anything is unclear.